Greetings from South China. I'm Mike Bellamy, founder of the Passage Maker Group of Companies and guest lecturer at the China Sourcing Academy. I've been living in Asia pretty much full time since 1993, and today I'd like to share with you some of the lessons I learned over those years. Now, thanks to online directories, it's pretty easy to come up with a long list of potential suppliers, but it's not so easy to take this long list and narrow it down to the right suppliers for your particular needs. So today I'm going to give my strategies and an overview for finding the right suppliers for one's particular needs. Okay, first, write down on paper what you think the ideal supplier would look like. For example, do they have access to certain raw material? Are they ISO certified? Do they have 100 employees? Do they produce a certain amount of units per year or per day and so on? The dream supplier will be different for every buyer, so write down what is important for you. Second. Compare the website or brochure from your list of potential suppliers against the attributes of this ideal supplier that you created. Now build two piles, the good fit and the not a good fit. Don't have a maybe pile because that will waste your time. Know that the perfect supplier is out there, so be picky. The goal is to save time by removing all the maybes and removing all the clearly not a good fit candidates so you can focus your attention on picking the best ones from the good fit pile. Now be very conservative as you sort these piles. Generally speaking, the websites and brochures offer you the best case scenario. The factories put their best foot forward, just like you would when you create a brochure or a website. Now in terms of supplier capabilities and experiences, you have to assume that what the supplier says in the trade show or their brochure um, or their website is their best possible scenario. Sales and marketing people anywhere in the world for this um, and especially in China, tend to overpromise and underdeliver. So if a supplier doesn't look great on the website, they probably wouldn't look great in reality, and you should put them in the not a good fit pile. Um, note that we haven't yet contacted the suppliers or even asked about price. Don't do that just yet, because as soon as you ask about price, you'll subconsciously be attracted to the supplier that appears to have the lowest price. And it is very rare in China that the lowest price supplier is also the best overall choice. It is far more effective to narrow down the pool to a handful of highly qualified suppliers than start to talk price. Now don't be seduced by the siren song of low price. Okay, that strategy should narrow the pool down to a handful of highly qualified potential candidates. In our next video we'll talk about how to evaluate them and how to negotiate the pricing. On that note, as always, I sign off wishing you successful sourcing in China, um, and if you found the information in this video useful, consider returning the favor. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, post some comments, or check out my blogs and monthly newsletter. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via LinkedIn, um, or find me at the China Sourcing Academy, or visit any of my company's websites.